All right, so I got this trig function here that I want to make a graph of. I got a graph here already with two functions, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you how this is labeled. So this has an amplitude here. This has got an amplitude of 4. The negative does have an effect on this graph, but when you look at the amplitude, you want absolute, so just 4. A normal trig function or a sine function is going to look something like this, but the negative value, whatever you get out for x, it's going to invert that. So that's why you get this here. Instead of it going up, it goes the other way. So you can see here that the amplitude's 4. Um, the period's just 2 pi divided by omega. In this case, omega's just 1. There's the coefficient in front of x, just 1, so it's 2 pi. So you can see here from 0, and then it crosses it. It completes one full cycle. One full cycle um, is like, well, it's like this. There's your uh, complete cycle, so it's 2 pi. Um, it's got a domain, domains, negative infinity to infinity, interval notation, and the range is, you're going to use brackets from negative 4 because it's inclusive, meaning it's a part of it, um, from 4 to 4. All right, that's it. Hopefully that helps.